to be praised you are worthy to be glorified thank you for january to june thank you for all you have done for us father peter exalted in jesus name i thank you lord for the life of my friends our fans thank you for everyone watching me i know that the remaining part of this year shall be greater than the first half in the name of jesus father please speak to us let your name be glorified in Jesus Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching from. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you for watching our videos. You are amazing. We love you so much in the name of Jesus. Today I just want to encourage us that God is bigger than it. It doesn't matter what you are passing through. I want you to begin to see God bigger than that project. See God bigger than that challenge. See God bigger than that situation. The Bible says in the book of um, Isaiah chapter 66 verse 1, it says, Thus says the Lord, the heaven is my truth and the heart is my full stoop. Heaven is my truth. This is God himself speaking to you and I today. He said, heaven is my truth and heart is my full stoop. My goodness. You need to imagine how power that type of person is for him to sit in heaven and the heart is his full stool oh shakata it doesn't matter that challenge that is before you it doesn't matter how high the mountain is oh god is saying that i sit in heaven this means that i am powerful this means that your problem your challenge is too small to collide with that rock of this your challenge is too small to collide with that jehovah the most powerful the one that is bigger than the biggest the one that is greater than the greatest eh? Father, we give you praise. God is saying, I am bigger than that situation. God is telling somebody today, I am bigger than it. We need to see God bigger than that situation. We need to see God bigger than that project. We need to begin to see God bigger than that problem. Oh, Masakata, Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. The Bible says, Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Who oh, are thou, O great mountain, before you that you are watching me? Who oh, are thou, O great mountain, before me? Oh, you shall become plain. You shall become plain. That mountain is too small to collide with God. Oh, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. For somebody watching me, your joy comes. I want you to see God bigger than it. Cry no more. Wipe your tears. Your joy has come. Oh, your joy comes. In the morning, your joy comes. In the noon, your joy comes. In the night, your joy comes. In the name of Jesus. Oh, one of the ways to build that faith is to continue to hear the word of God. The Bible says, but faith comes by hearing. And by hearing of the word of God, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. You might seem to not see it coming, but I want you to know that God will do it for you. I want you to know that God will surprise you. I want you to know that God will change it. Oh, you are much more than many sparrows. God is saying to you, you are much more than them. God is bigger than that situation. God is bigger than that challenge. In the name of Jesus, God bless you. Thank you for watching. Are you watching? You want to say yes, Lord? You want to give your life to Christ? Please say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words on to me today. Father, please forgive me my sins. Come into my life. Come with the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers. For in Jesus Christ's wonderful name, we have prayed. 
Amen. If you see that prayer journey, congratulations. And I'm born again Christian. I want to continue to love God, continue to follow Him, continue to do His will. I shall go. So please do feel free to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to share with somebody. And the Lord bless you as I did so in the name of Jesus. You know what? I love you so much. And I'm going to see you next time. Bye.